In this lecture, we will be creating a connection string in our application so that we can use this connection string through entity framework and talk to a SQL server and a database inside that SQL server. Let's come back to our application and create a connection string and we create connection string inside app settings.json file. So let's open that and at the bottom, let's create a new object called connection strings. And inside this object, we will have key value pairs and we will first specify the key, which is the name of the connection string. And this is something that you can give yourself through for your application. So because we have the NZ walks application, I will give the connection string name as NZ walks connection string. And then I have to provide a value for this connection string. The connection string needs the name of the server that it can connect to and this will be the server name that you installed the local instance that you installed in section one. If you haven't done that, you can go back to the lecture where you install SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio. So you should have a server by now and we will provide a database name for the application. And when we run Entity Framework Core migrations in the later lecture, we will create a new database for this NZWorks application. So first of all, let's provide a server name and we should specify server is equal to followed by the name or the value of the server. And for that, I will come back to SQL Server where I am able to connect to an installed instance of SQL Server. So this is the name of the server that I have installed in my local machine. The server name for you could be totally different. So make sure you remember the server name when you installed it or if you don't remember it, you can uninstall it and install it again by referring to the lecture in section one. So copy the name and just to show you that I'm able to connect to this server name and that is fine. So come back to the application and paste the server name over here. After that, we will use a semicolon and now provide the details of the database. So I will say database is equal to now we have to specify the value of the database so we don't have an existing database with us we want to create a new database and if i show you the list of databases i have i don't have anything related to nz walks so i will specify the name of the database as nz walks db and this is the name that the entity framework core will take to create this database. So I've specified the server information and the database. After that, using a semicolon, I would provide two other fields. One will be trusted underscore connection is equal to true. And I will minimize that so that we can read it. And the last value as per .NET 6 and 7 is trust server certificate is equal to true. So as of .NET 7, we need to use these two information as well so that we can connect to a local instance of SQL Server. And with all this information, we have now created a connection string and we will use this connection string in the next lecture where we will inject the uh, DB context inside our application. And the DB context will use this connection string to make a connection to the database.